So this is looking into the spring. Most people swim right here, but uh, there's all these um, blue crabs down here and just look at all that uh, crabs. Wow, a lot of them. You can also see the springs where they're bubbling up out of the ground. Oh, I just love the water clarity too. Most springs like this are about 72 degrees Fahrenheit year round, which is pretty awesome. While in the Salt Springs recreational area, I saw this uh, big live oak and uh, <laughs> you know, it's a tree. Um, <laughs> but uh, I had to show this off. I mean, look at this. The, the branches just come right down to the ground. Sign says, or sign asks that you don't climb it, but oh my God, what a monster of a tree. It's just huge. And even how low it is to the ground, um, it's still growing. Um, the day fee for this area is $8 on weekdays and I think $11 on weekends and holidays. Um, there is camping available. Um, there's full hookups for RVs um, as well as primitive sites uh, that don't have any electric but some water um, for like tent campers or just car camping. This is one of the main parking lots right here that you can go to for the day use. Um, visitor, uh, or the uh, camp store is right here. Yep, floaties, masks, goggles, all bunch of stuff. Food. All right, and the spring is just up ahead. Look at them all hanging out here. Must be warm. It's not that bad once you're in. By drying off, we notice this little uh, bee hole right here. Definitely don't want to put your towel over there. That wouldn't be too fun. Greetings from the Juniper Springs Campground. This is our site for the night. Well, it's just a common site you would see in a campground like this in Ocala National Forest. And before we get to the spring, Here's a map of what to expect when you enter. There's three areas to camp. You have the sand pine, the uh, fern hammock, which is good for tents, and we stayed in the tropical camp area. The springs are just over here, and I'm going to meet the man with the van and a plan over there while I go from our site, which was uh, site 12, and I'm going to follow the Juniper Creek on this trail right here over to the spring and pool. Huh. Wouldn't have expected to see that here, but pretty cool. Hmm. All right, let's get a uh, water check real quick. How does it feel? Oh yeah, cool. A little warm. This looks like a little more of a natural uh, spring pond or body of water. See some fish. Oh, man, look at that turtle. Big guy. Hmm. Looks like there are some pretty deep pockets right there. If we come over here, we see a little bit more of a sandy, sandy bottom. Conditions on the run are subject to change. Okay, so we're in the winter time frame, so it looks like you can launch after 8 a.m. The gate is up during these hours. Please see a staff member for assistance. Hmm. So I guess from here is the uh, drop off. 
So you start here, launch your uh, boat, and uh, figure out the spring. Now that would be really cool. I'd like to come back in the future and do that. That seems pretty cool. It looks like you drop it right here, like where the mill is, and you could take it all along the creek here, which is what I thought the trail would be. Uh, looks like the takeout is in Sand Pine area. Hmm. All right. This says, named one of the top 25 canoe runs in America. Wow, Juniper Run is a narrow winding waterway under a dense canopy of old growth forest. It's about a seven mile journey and the uh, run goes through Juniper Prairie Wilderness and the takeout, oh, it's actually off State Route 19, okay. Yes, yeah, so that was Sand Pine. Okay. Hmm. So it takes about 4.5 hours to accomplish. Um, I don't think you can just swim down the run. I actually think you have to boat. Yeah, see, it says right there you can't swim. <laughs> Okay. I'll tell you this, the baby fish aren't shy at all. They're coming right up to my toes. <laughs> it's good morning to you guys. <laughs> yeah, they do seem a little camera shy though. <laughs> Okay, so back there is the parking lot for Alexander Springs, and uh, this is spring stop number three for us. Uh, our first was Salt, second was Juniper, and now we're at Alexander. Um, we just paid the day use fee, which I think was uh, $7 a person, and also there are canoes here that you can rent to use. Um, Juniper Springs had that uh, canoe run that was seven miles, but you had to bring your own boat. They were not uh, doing any rentals during this time. Okay, so I'm just about here at the spring, and I'd say this is the biggest body of water you can swim in so far that I've come across. Water definitely appears a little more green than the other ones. Still pretty clear though. Almost feels a little more of a natural setting. Oh, that would be my stomach rumbling. It definitely gets deeper the further you go out, but the clarity stays the same and it doesn't really change even if there are, you know, a thousand people in the water versus, you know, pretty much just me. Um, I spoke to one diver who's down in one of the deeper spots you can go down. Um, here it can get up to about 30 feet deep where the uh, boil is over there. But yeah, just look at that clarity. You can, you can see, you can see all of me. <laughs> Oh man, this is awesome. Oh, this is so cool.